Hello everyone, I'm here to share the Christmas holiday project. It's a Christmas stocking. I love it. You guys know I always say I love my own projects. And I'm just really, truly, I'm absolutely in love with it. So a Christmas stocking. And of course, all of my projects have to be memory keepers. So this is the way this one functions. The mini album pulls out right out of there. Here's the inside of it. This would make a fantastic gift bag, if you will. You can uh, stuff this with a bunch of goodies, wrap them in cello, and the goodies will be coming out of the top. The cello will be coming out of the top. You can put a little handle on this thing, and this can be the gift packaging if that's what you want it to be, or you can make a mini album and it's your Christmas memory keeper. This piece has a flat bottom, so it will stand up, not on its own because it becomes top heavy. You see that? Because the mini album is heavy. However, it props up, and you can't see me prop it up, but it props up beautifully. Another alternative would be if you add one of those picture frame stands, and um, you can make those out of chipboard. I mean, it would be adorable if you add the picture frame thingy here. If you want it to stand, it can totally stay standing up if that's what you want it to do. I don't want mine with the picture frame thing on the back. I'm okay with propping mine up. And I was going to give this away, but I think I'm going to keep it. I can't take it. So the Christmas stocking, guys, here is the mini album. All right, your kits are already on their way to you for those who are in the kit club. A really fantastic mini album here. It's got eight pages. It's a hidden hand binding system. You also can use your Christmas punches. We all know that we have a gazillion Christmas punches in our arsenal. And you can go ahead and use those in this project. A really fun mini album here. It's a nice size, and I'm calling it a mini because it's a mini. It's five and a half by ten. All right. Um, a really great way to use your papers and not cover up the the images is to cut right into the image and make it a pocket, which is really fun to do. In case you're wondering, Kit Club members received the this is Teresa Collins, Santa's list, and Basil. Uh, I forget what Nordic Pines, I think it's called. So two paper collections here. Really fantastic on these pages. On the back side, there's a page attachment, which is reminiscent to what I did with the Halloween album, where we did an, a, page, a page attachment, and it flips back, and it just opens up into all sorts of uh, opportunities for memory keeping and a bunch of other things here. Just all sorts of little things where you can add, uh, make additions, all right? So that is what I'm showing you for the mini album. It's a really fantastic piece. Lots of room for photographs. And in this case, you want it to be loaded. All right. You want it to be loaded because when you stick it in here and it's loaded, it's going to create that tension and your album will not. You can see how it's kind of loose right now. Your album will not shift around once it's nice and full and packed. So go to town with this one, guys. You guys know I hate the alligator mouth on the albums. In this case, having it nice and full is ideal. Oh, by the way, you also get this darling trinket. Well, you get four, two trinkets in this kit, guys. You get the set of reindeer and the the champagne glass with the with the champagne glasses, and you get a set of two. Uh, and it's just, it's fantastic. For those of you who are not in the kit club, this tutorial will be available over the weekend on my website, paperphenomenon.com. If you want to join the kit club, open enrollment is right now, and it's closing December 9th, guys. So you have to sign up before December 9th to uh, join the kit club for January, February, March of 2014. This is Kathy with Paper Phenomenon, and until next time, Merry Christmas!